stem and leaf plots. So what exactly is a stem and leaf plot? A stem and leaf plot is a data display that helps you see how data values are distributed. Each data value is separated into a leaf, the last digit, and a stem, the remaining digits. In an ordered stem and leaf plot, the leaves for each stem are listed in order from least to greatest. To help you develop a better understanding of stem and leaf plots, I want to show you a stem and leaf plot that I built all about Ted Williams. Ted Williams, arguably, is the greatest player in Red Sox history. The data that's going to be represented in the stem and leaf plot is the number of home runs hit by Ted Williams during his career. This chart shows the data that we're going to be displaying. Notice in the left-hand column shows the year that Ted Williams played, and the right-hand column shows the number of home runs hit by Ted Williams. So in 1939, Ted Williams hit 31 home runs. In 1960, Ted Williams hit 29 home runs. But I don't know if you noticed, there's a gap between 1942 and 1946. Between these years, Ted Williams served in the U.S. military and fought in World War II. So here's a stem and leaf plot of Ted Williams' home runs. Notice on the left-hand side of the vertical line shows the tens values, and on the right-hand side shows the ones. So how do you read this chart? Let's take a look at the very last piece of data on the very bottom, where there's a four in the tens place, and there's a three in the ones. That data would represent 43. Look right above it. See, notice how there's a 3 in the tens place and a 0 in the ones place? That means 30 home runs was hit. Next to the 0, there's a 1. That means one year Ted Williams hit 31 home runs. Next to the 1, there's a 2. That means another year Ted Williams hit 32 home runs, and so on. There are some distinct advantages of creating stem and leaf plots. For example, when you look at the data, you can easily figure out which is the highest amount and which is the lowest amount. For example, according to this data, the highest amount of home runs hit by Ted Williams was 43, and the lowest amount of home runs hit by Ted Williams was 1. So the range would be 42 home runs. When you create an ordered stem and leaf plot, it also makes it quite easy to find the median. Again, to find the median, you have to pick out the middle number when the numbers are in order from least to greatest. When you create an order stem and leaf plot, the numbers are in order from least to greatest. So the red number, 29, is the median value for Ted Williams.